Just get your shot and let me know when you're recording, and I'll go. Hmm? Okay. Welcome to Ashland Middle School. It is Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA TV in Ashland and HCAM in Hopkinton as the three and seven Ashland Post 77 will take on Tingsboro Post 247 today. Tingsboro is two and seven on the season. The starting pitcher for Ashland is Nick Burns. Tom Nappy on the call, and our camera person for today is Allison Rose. Let's take a look at the lineup for the visiting Tingsboro post 247. They will start off with third baseman Eric Maxfield, followed by D.H. Brandon Busey, and followed by second baseman Andrew Fisher. In the cleanup spot, it is Jacob Barnes, then in left field, batting fifth, Troy Thurkle. Shortstop, batting sixth, Kyle Priest. Aiden Ward, the center fielder, batting seventh. Liam Gleason, the right fielder, batting eighth. And Dylan Bogutz will round out the order and be the first baseman, Sean Sandville, the pitcher, the odd man out of the order as we are set for baseball. Tingsboro is led by head coach, Ken Friedis and manager Bill O'Neill as the first batter steps in to face Nick Burns. We'll take a look at the Ashland Post 77 field in just a moment. The windup and the pitch is just a tad outside. A one and O oh count to start. As Nick Burns set to throw the second pitch. There's ball two. Nick Burns' battery mate behind the plate. Nick Porter over at first base. Trevor Gustafson, second base. Jeff Holler, Mike Messier, the shortstop. Brendan Thurber at third base. As this is hit high in the air towards right field. A high fly ball it lingers up there and lingers into the glove of Andrew Keim for the first out of the ball game. From left to right for post 77, it's Greg Holler, Jake Obed, and Andrew Keim. As the next hitter steps in, Brandon Bursey. As this is hit foul out of play, 0 oh and 1. Brandon Bursey, the DH for Tingsboro. Big game for both these teams to remain in contention. Is that pitch outside? 2 and 0. Oh. 1 and 1, excuse me. The leg lift and the pitch. There's strike two. A nice day here at Ashland Middle School. There was some weather scares around the area earlier, but the sun is shining as that pitch is going to be just outside two and two. The leg lift and the pitch. This is hit in the air foul territory out of play. The leg lift and the pitch. That's fouled away. Count remains even. Burns awaits the sign. The leg lift and the pitch. Just outside, full count. The HCAM Weather Center reading 89 degrees Fahrenheit, partly cloudy. A slight wind to the northwest. This is down to third baseline and foul. Count remains full. There was a chance at some precipitation earlier, but that chance has seemed to dwindle down and the storms have passed. Should be clear skies throughout the ball game. A tough loss for post 77. Just yesterday to Bill Ricca as Burns set to deliver. And this is hit high in the air. Two left field towards the wall. And that will drop in front of Greg Holler. Holler chasing it down. Runner is heading to second base and it's a stand-up double. 
Andrew Fisher will now step in after a 1-0 double by the DH, Brandon Bursey. As the second baseman set to step in, Brandon Bursey who just hit the double and the current batter at the plate, both at a Lowell Catholic High School. The wind up and the pitch, this is hit high in the air, foul territory out of play. Burns set to deliver to the lefty. There's strike two. Burns working from the stretch. Takes a look at second runner leading a bit. And there strike three got him looking two away. Jacob Barnes will now step into the batter's box out of Groton Dunstable High School. Set to graduate next school year. Burns delivers. And this is a liner in a left field. That'll drop in for a hit. Runner being waved around third as Greg Holler struggles with it. One run is in. The throw to second is not in time. So Barnes reaches second base as Holler struggles with it. Bercy comes around to score. It's 1-0 Tingsboro. Troy Thurkel will come to the plate. Troy Thurkel, a Tingsboro native. Out of Tingsboro High School as the left fielder steps in. Burns once again from the stretch. There's strike one. Wind up and the pitch. There's another strike. Burns set to deliver. Runner leading off of second. That is hit foul. A lot of lefties in this Tingsboro lineup so far. Burns set to deliver. Just outside, one and two. Wind up and the pitch. And this is on the ground, slow roller up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first in time. A six to three ground out. Retires the side, but not before Tingsboro plates a run. It is 1-0 heading to the bottom of the first. Bottom of the first inning, Ashland Post 77 coming up to the plate, trailing 1-0 to Tingsboro. Let's take a look at the Ashland batting order. They will start off with third baseman Brandon Thurber. Left fielder Greg Holler will bat second. Catcher Nick Porter batting third. Hitting cleanup is the pitcher Nick Burns. Batting fifth is Trevor Gustafson, the first baseman. Shortstop Mike Messier will hit sixth. Jeff Haller, the second baseman, will hit seventh. Jake Obed, the center fielder, will bat ninth. Andrew Kime, the right fielder, is batting ninth. Obed is eighth. Kime is ninth. Let's take a look at the Tingsboro field. Getting the start on the mound is pitcher Sean Sandville out of Neshoba Tech. He is set to graduate after next school year. Over at first base, Dylan Bogutz. Second base, Andrew Fisher. Shortstop, Kyle Priest. Third baseman is Eric Maxfield. Jacob Barnes behind the plate. Over in left field, Troy Thurkel. Center fielder, Aiden Ward. And right fielder, Liam Gleason. As Brendan Thurber, the third baseman, set to step in. See if Post 77 can get the bats going after a tough 5-2 loss last night to Bill Ricca. A 
The wind up and the pitch. On the ground, left side, glove by the shortstop, throw to first, one pitch, one out. Greg Holler will step in. Holler awaits the pitch. There's strike one. Sandville awaits the sign and delivers is up the first base side and foul 0 and 2. Sandville set to deliver. Swinging strike. Late swing by Holler. Now Nick Porter will come to the plate. Sandville gets the sign he likes and delivers. That'll turn away Porter 1-0. Sanville to the set, on the ground, third base side, glove by the third baseman, throw to first, in time, and they go down one, two, three, heading to the second inning. It's Tingsboro one, Ashland nothing. Set to enter the top half of the second inning, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit them at WebsterFirst.com. HCAM Sports also supported by Fletcher Tilton Attorneys at Law, serving central Massachusetts and beyond with responsive solutions guided by three basic principles, integrity, leadership, and excellence. Fletcher Tilton, visit them online at FletcherTilton.com. As Nick Burns set to deliver to the first hitter of the inning, Kyle Priest, the windup and the pitch. Third base side, slow roller, infield grass, glove by Thurber, throw to first, one away. Now coming up, the seventh hitter in the order, left center fielder Aiden Ward. This should be a pretty good pitcher's duel today. And Nick Burns, he's one of those pitchers that sometimes starts off the game a little bit slow, but really heats up as it goes by. And there's strike one. The leg lift and the pitch. Just outside, one and one. Burns to the set. And this is a liner in a center field. That'll drop in for a base hit and it will be a single for Aiden Ward. With one out and a man on first, Liam Gleason will come to the plate. Runner leading off of first as Burns takes a long look at the bag and delivers to the lefty for a strike. Gleason was squaring bunt on that last pitch. Burns delivers, there's strike two. Runner leading off the bag, Burns set to deal. Fouled away, count remains 0 and 2. Burns from the stretch, just low. One and two on Liam Gleason. One of five 
Tingsboro players at a Lowell Catholic. That's just high. Two and two count. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Good battle here. Burns takes a look at the runner at first and deals. There's strike three. Got him looking. Two away. That'll bring up Dylan Bogutz. Dylan Bogutz out of Tingsboro High School. He'll enter his junior year next year. Burns again looking at the runner at first. Check in, runner back safe. Wind up and the pitch. That is just inside. Burns deals down low, 2-0, and oh, throw over to first. Almost got him, but runner back safe. Burns to the set, swinging strike. Two and one. Burns with two strikeouts so far. He deals. There's strike two. Burns from the stretch. Steps off the mound, runner back to first. Burns delivers, foul tipped. Cow remains two and two. Checking at first, runner back safe, throw got away. The runner will take off for second base. Misfire by Burns. Leg lift and the pitch, swinging strike, and he gets him for the third out of the inning. We will head to the bottom of the second. It is one to nothing, Tingsboro. Bottom of the second inning, Nick Burns, Trevor Gustafson, Mike Messier, the four, five, and six hitters coming to the plate to face Sean Sandville. One, two, three, bottom half of the first four post 77. We'll see if they can get the bats going this inning. As the lefty steps in. Sandville set to deliver. Upstairs, one and oh. The wind up and the pitch. That is hit foul out of play, one and one. Tingsboro coach signaling the outfielders to move back. Certainly aware of the power that Nick Burns has. Leg lift and the pitch. This is hit high in the air to the right side 
in foul territory, and it'll drop foul. One and two. Sandville deals just high. Sandville on the 2 2 pitch. That one outside, that'll fill up the count. The wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air towards left field and it's dropped by the left fielder, Troy Thurkel. And Burns reaches on the error. Routine fly ball dropped by the left fielder and that'll bring up Trevor Gustafson. Checking at first, throw almost got away. Nice job by first baseman Dylan Bogutz. Sandville from the stretch. Down low. Burns leading off of first. Sandville deals on the ground. Slow roller on the infield. Grass throw to second for one. Throw to first in time. 6-4-3 they go. A double play. Actually, that was the third baseman, so 5-4-3. And now Mike Messier will come to the plate. Big break for Tingsboro after Burns reached on a errant drop in left field. Sandville deals, bunt pulled back. One and oh. Mike Messier playing his second straight game at shortstop. Sandville delivers. This takes a couple hops on the grass right to the second baseman's glove. Throw to first, not a problem. Messier goes down four to three for the third and final out of the inning. And we will head to the third. It is a one to nothing Tingsboro lead. Top half of the third inning as Tingsboro will come back up to the plate. Top of the order is due up. Eric Maxfield, the third baseman. Brandon Bursey, the DH. And Andrew Fisher, the second baseman. As Nick Burns looks to have a, another calm inning. The only run of the game was scored in the first by Tingsboro. The windup and the pitch. That's it, foul. Brandon Bursey scored the first run of the game. That one's down low. And it was an error by Greg Holler in left field that allowed Bursey to score. And this is a high fly ball towards the right side in the Shallow grass, and it is handled by first baseman Trevor Gustafson, one away. Brandon Bursey will step into the batter's box. 
She had a double his last time up and scored the only run of the game. The wind up and the pitch. Takes a couple hops on the infield grass. Glove by Thurber. Throw to first is wide and it is not going to be in the right spot as it pulls Gustafson off the bag. And I would say that is an error on Thurber. Routine grounder there. And he just could not handle the throw. Too much power. Andrew Fisher coming to the plate as the lefty steps in. The wind up and the pitch. And this is a liner to the right side. That'll get through the gap for a base hit. Chased down by Keim. Lead runner heading over to third and Messier will hold on to it. And we will have runners at the corners with one out. Stepping in is catcher Jacob Barnes. Golden opportunity here. So far in this game, post 77 has had an error in every inning. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle. Burns is able to make the catch. Looks at third base, will end up throwing the first. And he does get the hitter. Bursey stays at third. He was halfway or about a quarter way down the base paths, but then saw Burns and turned right around. So one to three ground out for Barnes. It did push Fisher up to second. So two runners in scoring position with two outs. Wind up and the pitch. This is up the middle, glove by Burns. And the toss to first, not a problem as they get Thurkel on the, the second straight. One to three ground out for the third out. And we will head to the bottom of the third. It's one to nothing, Tingsboro. Bottom of the third inning, post 77. We'll have the seven, eight, and nine hitters coming up. Jeff Holler, Jake Obit, and Andrew Keim. Sean Sandville in his third inning of work as Jeff Holler steps in. Jeff Holler getting some time at second base today. Of course, the brother of Greg Holler. That pitch is just low, one and zero. Oh. Jeff Holler will be a senior at Hopkinton High School next year. The leg lift and the pitch. Liner up the middle past the glove of the second baseman. And Jeff is aboard with a single. A leadoff single. Jake Obid will come to the plate. Jake Obid out of Holliston High School will be a junior next year. Sandville from the stretch, runner leading off of first. The bunt is squared and fouled. 0 oh and 1. Sandville from the stretch, delivers runner taking off from first, couple hops on the infield grass, slow roller, throw to first, and they get the runner. So they got one, they got Obid, Holler pushes up to second. Can score that five to three on the ground out, and Andrew Keim will come to the plate. Sandville will deal. Just high. Do up next, the leadoff hitter, Brendan Thurber. As the right fielder wait, awaits the pitch. 
Leg lift and the pitch. This is a high fly ball in foul territory. First baseman tracking over and will not get to it. Tough one to chase down for Dylan Bogutz. Andrew Keim also at a Holliston High School will be a senior next year. Sandville awaits the sign. Down low, two and oh. Two and one, excuse me. The wind up and the pitch. And this takes a couple hops on the left side on the infield. Grass dirt, shortstop flips to third and is not in time. So Jeff Haller reaches and so does Keim. That puts runners at the corners. Kyle Priest, the shortstop, tried to backhand flip it over to the third baseman and it just was not in time. Almost looked like it got stuck in his hand a little bit as Brendan Thurber steps in. Sandville from the stretch, runner taking off from first. This is hit foul, runner will retreat to first. For those of you just joining us, you're watching Ashland Legion Baseball on HCAM Television in Hopkinton or WACA TV in Ashland. Tom Nappy on the call, Allison Rose on camera. Sandville from the stretch. Thurber awaits the pitch. Checking at first. Runner just back safe. Very close. Runners both leading. That pitch is high in the throw to third. They almost got him, but not in time. Good throw down the line by Barnes. The runner from first did push up to second. So Holler the distraction and Kime pushes up to second. So now two runners in scoring position with one out. Wind up and the pitch. Check swing, did he hold? And yes he did. Two and one. Sandville deals. And this is a liner in the right center. That'll drop down. One run in a score. A second run being waved around. The throw in is cut off. And it's 2-1 post 77. A two RBI single for Brendan Thurber. Jacob Barnes, the catcher, will come out to talk to Sean Sandville. Greg Holler will come to the plate. Just a moment, we'll get you the standings from Zone 5 Legion Baseball. Sandville set to deliver for, to Greg Holler. Runner on first still, only one out. Fouled away, 0-1. Zone 5A standings, Hudson at the top at 9 and 2, Newton is 7 and 2, Sudbury 7 and 4, Ashland and Natick both 3 and 7. We'll get you zone 5B in just a moment. Sandville set to deal. Checking at first, runner back safe. Zone 5B, Lowell 7 and 1, North Chelmsford 7 and 2, Bill Ricca 2 and 6, Tingsboro 2 and 7, Medford 1 and 10. The wind up and the pitch runner taking off from first as this is sliced foul. 0 and 2.
Greg Holler steps back in. Wind up and the pitch checking at first and runner back safe. That was a great piece of hitting by Brendan Thurber before. Some well needed runs for post 77. Get some momentum going for this team as Thurber almost tagged out but slides back safe. Sandville from the stretch. Swinging strike, runner takes off from first, throw to second, not in time. A stolen base for Thurber. Two away as Holler strikes out. Nick Porter coming to the plate. That was a good steal by Thurber. Sandville set to deliver. Checking at second, runner back, the ball gets into center field on the check in and Thurber advances the third. That's the second Tingsboro error of the game. As there's a strike to Porter. Sanville awaits the sign and deals. That's a ball. You'll see Thurber immediately start towards home plate after every pitch in the two-out situation. Wind up and the pitch. And this is off the infield grass. A hop over to the shortstop, throw to first in time. As Porter goes down, 6-3, to three, but not before. Ashland, post 77, takes the 2-1 to one lead as we head to the top of the fourth. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Remax, Exec Remax Executive Realty My House Partners. My House Partners serves the entire Hopkinton Mass real estate market, including surrounding areas. You can find them online at myhousepartners.com. Also supported by WPC Pest Control. Don't tolerate your pest problem. Eliminate your pest problem. A family-owned business. You can call them at 508-366-1820 or find them online at wpcpest.com. As we are set for the fourth inning, Kyle Pree steps in to face Nick Burns. A 2-1 to one post-77 lead. Wind up and the pitch, and this is sliced into right field. That'll drop in for a leadoff single. Aiden Ward will now step in. Aiden Ward, one for one today, as Burns will deliver from the stretch to the lefty. Inside, 1-0. and oh. Burns from the stretch. That one's low, two and oh. Runner leading off of first. And the hitter lost the bat there as he swung hard at strike one. And I'll point out the hitter not wearing batting gloves. Fortunately, no one in the way of that. Runner leading off of first, Burns delivers. 
just low, three and one. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Three and two. It looks like Brendan Wolf getting loose in case Nick Burns runs into any trouble. Burns set to deliver. Is hit high in the air above third baseman and handled by the shortstop, Mike Messier, for the first out. Liam Gleason, the right fielder, to step in. One out, runner on first. Burns will deliver. Up high, 1-0. Line up and the pitch, just high. Porter threatened to check in over at first, but held up, runner back to the bag. Runner once again leading as Burns delivers. Down low, three and oh. And Brendan Wolf not Typically a pitcher could be warming up to go in for defensive purposes. As Gleason draws the walk, a four-pitch walk, Priest pushes up to second. Two men on, one out. Dylan Bogut's the first baseman to the plate. There's strike one. Leg lift and the pitch. That's fouled away. 0-2. And you have to imagine at this point in the season, at 3-7, and seven, the leash is not going to be long with any pitcher, especially if post-77 has the lead. And there is strike three. Gets the hitter looking as Porter threatens to throw down a second two-way. Eric Maxfield, the third baseman, to step in. He's 0 for 2 so far today. Burns takes a look at second, now awaits the sign, the leg lift and the pitch. Down low, 1 0. Burns working from the stretch. He winds and deals. Hit high in the air to the right side. Foul territory ranging all the way over to make the catch was Andrew Kime. Had to cover a lot of ground to get to that one, but a good effort for the third out. And as we head to the bottom of the fourth, it's Ashland 2, Tingsboro 1. Bottom of the fourth inning, four, five, and six hitters due up for post 77. Nick Burns will start things off, followed by Trevor Gustafson and Mike Messier. Sean Sandville out there for another inning of work as Ashland tries to add to a two to one lead. This is hit high in the air, foul territory out of play, 0 and 1. We'll recap the bottom of the third in just a moment. Sandville delivers. That's fouled away as well, 0-2. Bottom of the third, Jeff Holler started things off with a single. Jake Obed then grounded out, pushed Holler up to second. Andrew Kime would then hit a single to push Holler up to third. And then a two RBI single by Brendan Thurber. Would score the two runs and then two straight outs to end the inning. As this is a slicer in a left field, that'll drop in for a base hit. 
Nick Burns is aboard with a single. And that'll bring up Trevor Gustafson. Trevor Gustafson out of St. John's High School in Shrewsbury. Will be a junior next school year. Sandville set to deliver the windup and the pitch down low. The righty awaits the sign. Runner taking off from first hit high in the air towards the right side, shallow right field, and tracking all the way over to make the catch was the first baseman, Dylan Bogutz, for the first out. And that ball seemed to be blown around a little bit up there. Tough one to track down as Mike Messier steps in. It's a runner on first, one out. Sandville from the stretch. There's strike one. Sandville deals. Down low, off the catcher, Jacob Barnes. He keeps it in front of him. One and one. Runner leading off of first, Sandville deals. Down low. Sandville on the 2-1. And he deals, four strike two, runner takes off from first, throw to second, not in time. Second steal of the game, third steal of the game for post 77. Runner leading off of second, the windup and the pitch. Down low, gets by the catcher, Barnes, and that is going to push Burns to third. That's a wild pitch, that one hit the dirt. And now, Samville will head back to the mound as his catcher, Jacob Barnes, straightens out. This is a full count on mess here. Line up and the pitch. Fouled away, stays alive. Sandville gets the sign and deals. And this is a fly ball above the third baseman and the easy catch for Eric Maxfield. Two away. Jeff Haller steps in. Hit a single and scored a run in the third. Down low, 1-0. and oh. Sandville awaits the sign and deals. 
And this takes a couple hops on the infield grass, bobbled by the third baseman, Eric Maxfield, and it's 3-1 post-77. Nick Burns coming around to score. Another error for Tingsboro. Now three errors apiece. Jake Obid steps in. Sandville checks in at first, runner just back. Jake Obid grounded out his last time up. Checking at first, runner back. Time called, Sandville taking a little long there. Sandville from the stretch. And this is up the left side, glove by the shortstop, flip to second for the third out. And that will retire the side, a six to four force out, but not before post 77 plates another run, taking advantage of an error, it is three to one as we head to the fifth. We are set for the fifth inning as Tingsboro will come back up to the plate trying to cut a two run deficit and you see the Ashland infield getting together. As stepping to the plate, Brandon Bursey. And post 77, they've had a few tough games in their last few. Trying to get a well needed win here today, but still nine outs away. The wind up and the pitch. There's strike one. Burns gets the sign and deals, and that hits the batter. Bursey gets the free pass. Taking one for the team off the leg, and that'll bring up Andrew Fisher. Coach Derek Johnson shifting the outfield towards the right side. Fisher one for two today. Hits this one high in the air towards left field, and it's foul. Just foul. And now it looks like Coach Johnson going to shift the outfield a little more towards the left. As the lefty awaits the pitch. The leg lift and the pitch. There's a strike, 0-2. Burns deals. There's strike three, one away. Jacob Barnes will step in. Catcher is one for two today, had a double in the first. There's a strike. The 0-1 pitch from Burns. There's strike two. Burns set to deal. And this is right up the middle, right to Burns. Throws the second for one, throw to first, not a problem. And there on that double play, they went 1-6-3 to end the inning. We will head to the bottom of the fifth. It's 3-1 Ashland.
Bottom of the fifth inning, 9-1 and 2 due up for post 77. Andrew Kine, Brandon Thurber, Greg Haller. Ashland off to a 3-1 lead, trying to hold it as Sean Sandville back out there for another inning of work. Kime awaits the pitch. He's one for one today with a single and a run scored. That one's low, 1-0. One oh. He came around to score in the third on a two RBI single by Brendan Thurber. Sandville set to deliver. That's fouled away, one and one. Sandville gets the sign and deals. There's strike two. One and two. The wind up and the pitch. And this is a up the middle, bobbled by the second baseman, and he will reach first. And that was a tough play to make. Hopped right in front of the second baseman on the infield dirt. That's debatable if it was an error or not, but it was in front of him, so we'll have to check the official scorebook after. Brendan Thurber steps in. Runner on first, no outs. That one's low, 1-0. One and oh. The defense really costing Tingsboro today. Wind up and the pitch, inside and high, 2-0. and oh. I believe two of the runs scored off an error, or because of an error. Or excuse me, one of the runs did at least. Check in, runner back safe. Yeah, the run in the fifth inning scored on the error. And this is it. up the middle and a diving catch by the shortstop. Throw to first and they get the double play. Great defensive play by Kyle Priest. And that was right in the front of him and a great dive on a quick liner up the middle. A six to three double play and that'll bring up Greg Holler. And we're going to have a pinch hitter. Brendan Wolf will pinch hit. As he takes strike one. Greg Holler was 0 for 2 on the day. So switch it up, see what Wolf can do, and get some extra defense in there. Wind up and the pitch. Little low, one and one. Sandville set the deal. Wolf tried to check swing and did not hold. One and two. Sandville gets the sign and deals up high. Two and two. The wind up and the pitch. Breaking pitch for a ball, three and two. Looked like a curve there from Sandville. To the set, 
swinging strike. And that will wrap up the fifth inning. Ashland leading three to one as we head to the sixth. Top half of the sixth inning, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They're a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. Hopkinton Drug is located at 52 Main Street. Burns set to deliver. Swinging strike by Troy Thurkle, the left fielder. Troy Thurkel awaits the pitch, and that is in there for strike two. Thurkel 0 for 2 on the day. Leg lift and the pitch. There, strike three. One down. Kyle Priest to the plate. Tom Onzi getting warm for post 77. Ashland just five outs away. Inside, 1-0. Oh. Wind up and the pitch. Low, 2-0. Oh. Burns deals. Outside. 3-0. and oh. Leg lift and the pitch. There's strike one. Burns to the set. Strike two. Priest thought he had the walk there. The wind up and the pitch. And this is driven past the shortstop and into left field. So a single there. We do have some changes to tell you about. Andrew Kai moves over from right field to left field. Brendan Wolf is the new right fielder as Aiden Ward steps in. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Runner leading off of first as Burns deals. This is up the middle, right back to Burns. Throw to second for one. Throw to first. In time. And post 77 gets out of the inning as they get the. One, six, three, double play, and we will head to the bottom of the sixth. Ashland leading three to one. Bottom of the sixth inning, due up for post 77, three, four, and five. Nick Porter, Nick Burns, Trevor Gustafson. Ashland going to try to add some security. Sean Sanville is out there for a sixth inning, and he's had a pretty good start. Despite Tingsboro trailing three to one, run did score because of an error earlier. Wind up and the pitch. Breaking pitch that did not break quite low enough. One and zero. Oh. But this has been some great defensive work by Ashland today, as this is hit. High in the air to shallow left. Tracking back is Kyle Priest, the shortstop. Makes the catch, one away. Nick Burns the step in. Nick Burns, one for two today. Hit a single and scored a run in the fourth as he follows this one away. Oh, and one. And also, I don't think either pitcher has thrown a whole lot of pitches in this game. It's been relatively quick innings. As that's fouled into the backstop, oh, and two.
Samville gets the sign and deals down low. One and two. It's been a good pitching matchup today between Sean Sandville and Nick Burns. Fun game as well. And so far a fun game for post 77 is that pitch up high. Two and two. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the right side. Takes a couple hops right to the first baseman. Dylan Bow gets who will glove it and tag the bag. Two away. Trevor Gustafson to step in. Gustafson 0 for 2 today. Wind up and the pitch, and that's hit follow and one. Sandville set the deal. There's strike two. Sandville gets the sign, and that's a sliced foul. Count remains 0-2. Wind up and the pitch, up the third base side foul. Sandville gets the sign, and that is off of Gustafson. He will get a free pass to first. And now batting Mike Messier, the shortstop, 0 for 2 today. Messier taking a look down the third baseline at the sign. Sandville takes a look at first and is set to deal. And this is a liner up the middle, handled by the shortstop. Little flip to second, not a problem. A 6-4 to four force out to retire this side. But Tingsboro down to their final three outs. Can post 77 improve to four and seven? Find out next. Top half of the seventh. Tingsboro is down to their final three outs. Due up is the seven, eight, and nine hitters. Liam Gleason will start things off. Followed by Dylan Bogutz and Sean Sanville, barring any pinch hitter. Nick Burns going for the complete game. First pitch down low. One and O. Oh. Ashland leading three to one. Tingsboro has not scored since the first inning. There's a strike, one and one. The light up and the pitch. Down low. Two and one. Burns to the set. Swinging strike, two and two. Burns works a lot quicker when he's not in the stretch. And there's strike three, one down. It's his seventh K of the day. Dylan Bogut steps in. Yeah, 
And he gets a piece of this. Roller on the infield grass. Thurber gloves it. Throw to first. Two away. Now the leadoff hitter will come to the plate. Eric's Maxfield. Third baseman, 0 for 3 on the day. Burns deals. There's a strike, 0 and 1. Kingsborough has a favorable schedule coming up. Three straight home games after this. And this is up the left side. Gloved at short. Throw to first. And that is the third and final out. Ashland post 77 gets the job done as they take the 3-1 to one victory and improve to 4-7 and seven on the season. Quite an effort by Ashland getting a well-needed win to stay in contention. We will come back and wrap things up in just a moment. Tom Nappy here as Ashland Post 77 gets the 3 to 1 victory over Tingsboro, a very well pitched game by Nick Burns as he goes the distance and Ashland improves to 4 and 7 on the season, a very much well needed win for Post 77. Let's get right to the game recap as we start off the first run was scored in the top half of the first. Brandon Busey hit a one out double and would end up scoring on an error after Jacob Barnes hits a double. You could also credit Barnes with that RBI. That would make it one to nothing. That would be it for Tangsboro. Ashland would respond in the bottom of the third where they would score a pair. A two RBI single by Brendan Thurber with one out. Drives in Jeff Haller and Andrew Keim. And then post 77 adds another in the fourth as Jeff Haller reaches on an error. He would end up scoring Nick Burns on that play. And that would make it three to one Ashland. Nick Burns pitched a terrific game, went all seven innings, giving up six hits and one run. And that run was unearned. As for walks, uh, he only had one walk, one hit batter, had seven strikeouts. Terrific job by Nick Burns today. And his counterpart, Sean Sandville, went six innings, giving up four hits, three runs, two earned runs, no walks, one hit batter, three strikeouts, a great job by Sean Sanville. It was a nice pitching matchup between Nick Burns and Sean Sanville. And you got to give the MVP, I think, today to Nick Burns as he did go that complete game and also hit that single in the fourth and scored a run. Tingsboro scores one run on six hits, commits four errors. Defense was an issue for Tingsboro. One of the Ashland runs did come around because of the error and that Ashland rally in the third might have continued because of an error that was made that allowed Brendan Thurber to advance from second to third. And uh, Ashland, they committed three errors of their own, but fortunately it did not come back to bite them today. Ashland scored three runs on four hits, committing three errors. Tingsboro, one run on six hits with four errors. Once again, the final score for the final time. Ashland post 77 improves to four and seven. Tingsboro falls to two and eight as Ashland beats Tingsboro three to one in a very good game. Well, that is going to wrap up coverage here from Ashland Middle School for Allison Rose on camera. I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us on this broadcast of Ashland Legion Baseball on HCAM Television in Hopkinton or WACA-TV in Ashland. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.